We have gotten so much good content lately. Not only is the rank season about to end, so we can include those cards in here. We've gotten good breakout cards, good legend cards, a lot of good AKAs, man. We had to update the best card in every position. We do this every other Sunday, so if you are enjoying these type of videos, make sure you hit that like, hit the subscribe, and let's just jump right into it. If you're looking for cheap, fast coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, check out my sponsor, U4GM, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. All right, boys, you guys know we take an empty lineup like this. Pretty straightforward. Fill it in with the best card in every position. The offensive line, we still do not have abilities here yet that matter. We only have so much AP on offense. Anyways, you're not wasting ability points there anyways. But moving over to offensive line, it really does come down to a couple guys, though. Offensive line on left tackle, we do got Jonathan Ogden versus Latham. It really depends, I guess, if you are more of a, a runner or a passer. I think Latham is obviously the better option right here. I know his awareness is down, but awareness, set. let's be honest here, our offensive line, I don't think it really matters too much. But when we look at him... You got to remember, not everybody's going to have Latham. So I'm going to put Ogden here only because I know not everybody has the rookie Ramirez, And I think that's the most fair way to do it. Moving to left guard, though, we do got Matthew Berger in. He is by far the best one who just came out. It might be Bergeron. I might be butchering his name crazy, but offensive line, who cares, boys? Center is still, well, and right guard. They're both absolutely garbage, boys. It really comes down to Steve Avila or Travis Frederick. You can see they are both not very, very good in the game. 85 overall compared to 88s, 89s. I guess we'll go with the new Steve Avila, who's a hero in the promo, not even a champion. Moving over, yeah, I mean, boys, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think Cody is better than Larry Little, even though Larry Little might have, like, you know, he does have really good stats. Look at the weight. Look at the weight. 265 pounds to 300 pounds. I use Larry Little right now because of Dolphin Seed Team, and he, yeah, I think I might be just sacrificing one Dolphin Seed Team point for Cody. I do not like the small linemen. They get thrown around like crazy. We need a new right guard and center so bad in this game. They keep giving us left tackles. They keep giving us left guards. Like we have three left guards here upgraded. Four, if you think about Graham Glass now as well. Now right tackle to finish it off. It is very, very easily Anton Harrison. He is a dog. He also gets breakout badges. You can make him even better. By far, probably the best offensive lineman in the game right there. And then to finish off the top row, now we have a little bit of competition. Offensive line is whatever. It's whatever, right? Now we get the tight end, boys. There are three guys that come to mind for me that are super, super elite in the game. We do get Kyle Pitts on Tuesday. He comes out on Tuesday, boys. So that is literally, what, two days from now? He comes out on Tuesday. We get him. It Cade's in the game. And then there's obviously the LTD Gronk. I don't like that. This Gronk kind of sucks. There's the LTD Gronk as well. See, this is tough for me, boys. This is tough. I've been using Gronk. I've been loving him. The thing with Kyle Pitts a lot of people do not remember is he gets every single theme team. So he's going to be 88 speed for everybody. Him versus Kincaid, if you're looking at straight speed, they are very similar in stats. He is taller than him. He is also above 246 pounds, so he's going to move a little bit worse. I really do think Kincaid is still the best. He has a 90 catch in traffic right there. He has amazing route running as well. I think Kincaid's amazing. I would say Gronk as well. Also, you got to remember, Kincaid is 88 speed. It's not showing right here because you can't put the breakout badge in, but I don't know. I think Kincaid's the best. He moves the best after the catch. He's the fastest of the bunch. Don't need a theme team to boost him up. His X factors on Gronk aren't good enough to make him, you know, better than Kincaid. And also another thing with Gronk that would have made probably made him better. Look, they gave him 77 run block. He's not even hitting the 80 threshold on an 89 LTD. They gave his 88 the 80. I don't know what they're doing, man. I'm going to go with Dalton Kincaid. So now we cut down to the wide receivers. Where wide receivers, a list I literally just did. I think it was two days ago we did our top 10 receivers. I think this position is almost locked in the top three. Number one, very, very easily, the LTD Cheetah. The only 90 base speed card in the game. He is amazing. Absolutely amazing. He also goes in probably the best team team in the game right now. Dolphins, Cheetah. The Chiefs is also probably top five right now. I got to lock in Cheetah. That is such a lock. Wide receiver two. Another Dolphin, boys. 89 speed member. Throwing the badge, he goes up to 89 speed. He also has 89 plus in all three route running. He gets abilities on him. Mid and elite is not bad. Red zone threat if you want to overspend. Not bad at all, boys. Easily wide receiver three. Or wide receiver two. Moving over to wide receiver three. I do think it's either Roma Dunze or Worthy. Obviously, if, if you have Rome from your rookie mirrors, use Rome, right? He gets everything team. He'd be 89 speed. He's six foot three. He is amazing. But... For, for rookie premiere purposes, I know in the last one I included a lot of rookie mirrors and everyone was yelling at me, so I'll put Worthy here. But if you have Rome, I would definitely use Rome. That's what I do in my certain uh, certain team build myself. But moving to running back, it's definitely between two guys. This Dalvin Cook just came out for Gauntlet. He's very mid, in my opinion. I mean, you can see right here, he doesn't have the best build in the game. He's 5'10". He's not really, really tall. Usually, if they're not the biggest in the world, right, you would want them to have a little bit more speed to make up for it or, you know, other stats right, or abilities. 
He doesn't really get anything crazy. This Dalvin Cook should have been much better for how hard it is. He had 10 wins in the goal. It is brutal out there. I don't know, man. I think it's Eric Dickerson or obviously A-Chain right now. A-Chain's 90 speed. Dickerson is 88. Dickerson is a much better all-around back. A-Chain is just much faster. I, I think I'm still going to go A-Chain personally, but I think Dickerson is right on his hit, man. Dickerson is really, really good. If you can if you can make up for the lag of speed, I think running the ball is the worst it's ever been in Madden in the last five years. So it is what it is at running back, but I don't know. I'd probably go with the one fast. It'll help a lot in the route running as well. It'll help a lot when you're playing man coverage too. Moving to quarterback, the first gunslinger, the only gunslinger in the game right now, I think Will Levis is easily quarterback one. He whips the ball the fastest. He obviously has the Aaron Rodgers release. He has amazing stats too, 90 throw power, 90 throw under pressure. He's insane, dude. Will Levis, easily quarterback one. I don't even think it's close. And this is why, look at look at the look at the breakout promo, boys. It is flooded with blue. It is flooded with blue right now. That promo is insane. It had to be updated. Obviously, we do it every Sunday, but I mean, dude, look at that. That's crazy. All right, now we move over to defense. You guys know I give you two safeties at each position just for depth reasonings. I know a lot of people run a lot of different defenses, but at free safety, I am including him. I am including him. We get him on Tuesday. I'm including him, boys. Ed Reed is now probably the best card in the game. He is 90 speed. He gets every theme team, 90 pursuit, 91 player, 90 zone. Let me remind you, once again, every single theme team. He also gets pick artists. He gets mid zone. He is by far the fastest card, or not, I want to say by far, him and Tyreek, really. He's the fastest card in the game on defense. He also gets insane, I mean, 90 play rec, 90 zone, and he's going to be ridiculous, boys. I cannot wait to get this card. I am currently top 100 right now as we are recording this video. It is a fight right now to stay in there, but I, I think we're going to get it, man. We'll record that video on him, too, but... Yeah, he, he's disgusting. Easily probably the best guard in the game right now. And then uh, and then at strong safety too, I think I'm still going to go with Javon Holland, right? I know Nubin is a little bit better statistically, but I think speed is king at the end of the day. And I know not everybody has the Nubin as well. But 88 speed goes in the best theme team. He also has insane man, or he has insane zone right there. The play rack's really good. He has plus seven play rack on him too. I think I'm going Javon Holland, man. He has been phenomenal for me. I see him on everybody's football field as well. Right outside linebacker, though, we did just get a brand new Jonathan Greenard. Probably one of the more weaker positions in the game. I mean, we got a Dre Greenlaw. I think Greenlaw is really good if you like zone, if you like usering your guys out here. But right now, I, I almost want to go Van Ginkle because I think Van Ginkle has been amazing. He's really fast, good excel, good speed. He sheds a lot. He's really good in a hybrid scheme as well if you like to drop into flats. I think I like Van Ginkle more than Greenard. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think I will. I think I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take Van Ginkle here. He is 6'4 as well, taller. He's better in the flats. If you're running double A gap, you can drop him into flats a lot. He's fast, like I said, very, very fast, really good excel. I think Van Ginkle actually makes the play there. Also, I want to say it again. Dolphin. Hey, I, I know I know theme teams isn't a big deal, or I don't make it a big deal in these videos, but the Dolphins theme team is absolutely broken right now. And moving over to middle linebacker. I, I, I wish it was a little bit better. We don't have really any abilities here yet. Junior Seau does get lurker. Doesn't really make a difference, though, until you lurk artist or pick artist. So, you know, it is what it is. But I think he is definitely middle linebacker. 187 speed on him. The only one with 87 speed. He has great, great stats across the board. The only thing I wish was better was the zone coverage. But you're probably using him anyways. But moving over to number two, it's between two guys easily for me right here. It's Patrick Queen or Luke Keekley, right? The thing is, is like if you want Luke Keekley, you are going to probably want to. I mean, he has 79 zone. He's missing the threshold by one point. I don't know, but he's much taller. I almost feel like I'd go Luke Keekley here. He has been insane. I honestly just got rid of him not too long ago to my theme team, but he's insane, dude. That card was go so good for me for so long. I got to rock him right there, man. And then left outside linebacker, I think it comes down to two guys. Although Dallas Turner's really good as Rogan Mir, Bosa was kind of mid. I think it comes down to Kayvon Thibodeau or Charles Haley. Remember, Kayvon Thibodeau does go up in speed. I believe his breakout badge boosts his speed. If not, even if you look at, I can't remember what his breakout bet. I think it's speed. But, I mean, regardless, even if it doesn't, because I'm not remembering right now, he has 86 speed, 90 excel, boys. He has amazing stats across the board. I mean, dude. I mean, Kayvon Thibodeau is broken. That card is amazing. Arguably the best edge rusher in the game right now as well. Now we move over to safety to finish off the top row. Bro, I have to include this card. I don't care that he's a little bit on the slower end. He gets the breakout badge. He goes up to 87 speed. I know it's a little bit slow. But I promise you guys, there's not been a card better for me this year yet as a DB. He has 90 zone, 91 man, and 90 pursuits. His player X even decent, 84. He's 6'2", so he's good height on him. The only negative is that he's like 87 speed, not like 88 or 89, right? Cam Curl is elite. I don't care. He has been amazing. The 90 man, 90 zone. He's great in a hybrid scheme. Not great. He's amazing in a hybrid scheme. 
I got to go Cam Curl. He's my favorite card in the game right now. And then at number two, I think it comes down to these two guys. I think I'm going to lane Jair Brown still. He goes up to 88 speed, 91 Excel. He has Amazing Man both at 88 and Zone at 88, the Pursuit. He feels like a little bit less version of Cam Curl. A little bit faster, a little bit tinier, not hitting the 90 thresholds, but that's probably what I'd rock as the top row. Now we move over to the cornerback position. I honestly think this position is really, really good in the game. I think theme team would probably help as well if you don't want the top end LTDs. Right now, I think Lions, I'm going to be honest with you, that's what I run because I don't want to spend 2 mil here, 2.6 mil here. So Lions, you can go ahead and get Slay, guys like Arnold, right? You can get uh, Night Train Lane. You can save a lot of coins, but in this video, we're not here to save coins. We're here to build the best card in every position. Corner one in the game is very easily Joey Porter. He's 6'2". He gets pick artist on him. He goes up to 89 speed with the badge. He is 90 man, 87 zone, 91 press coverage too. He really is amazing in man coverage. You could man him up even in zone schemes. He's going to dominate. But at corner two, I really don't know if I want to put Charles Woods in here. I've, I've heard of many, many good things about him. I do want to go Gonzo first. The first guy I want to go is Gonzo. I think Gonzo is definitely elite. He also does get the pick artist. He also is 6'2", 88 man. His zone is 80, but it's still he's hitting the threshold at least. His player X 85. His press is really good. Gonzo is absolutely amazing. But when we move over to number three, I think it comes down to these two right here, boys. You can see statistically as well. Nate Wiggins is taller. He's a little bit better statistically. He's better man, better zone. The press is better. His player act is way worse, though. I will be honest. I did use Nate Wiggins for a while, and I'm going to be honest. He didn't play bad. His player act was never an issue. Charles Woodson does get abilities, though. I think I'm going to lean Charles Woodson. Honestly, though, I don't think it's that far off. I don't think it's that far off if you don't want to save that or if you want to save that extra mil from going up to Charles Woodson. I don't know. It's up to you if you want your pick artists out there on the field. Right end, though, one of the weakest positions in the game. If you got your free Miles Garrett, I think he is probably the best option here. Probably him or uh, Aiden Hutchinson. I do think Micah is also still insane. If you're looking for straight speed, which a lot of people are in, like, the disengaged defenses, if you run the A-gap defense, if you run double A-gap, you're probably looking for speed. So if you're running A-gap, I'd probably go Micah. If you're running four down line, if you're running, like, dollar or something, I'd probably go Miles Garrett here. So do with what you will with that information. And now D-tackle. I mean, I guess I'll go Q. I don't know, dude. D-tackle is kind of weak right now. I mean, Ed Oliver. 84 speed, 87 Excel almost makes me want to go him. He is also free from Mutt Champs, which is awesome as well if you can get 16 wins. Mean Joe Green still does get the double or nothing. I think I'm honestly going to go Ed Oliver here. I know he's a little bit worse statistically. I know his block shit is at 90 like Quinnen, but that 84 speed, 87 Excel from the D-line for the D-tackle spot might be wild. I don't know. I need to try out Quinnen Williams now that I think about it, but I think that card looks insane. And then at left end to end it off. I know we got a lot of demons out. Jason Taylor's insanely fast. We got Will Anderson, who's crazy fast at 90 Excel. I think I'm still going to go Gastineau. He obviously gets the best abilities. He gets the edge shirt elite, double or nothing, whatever one you want to use. And then obviously statistically, 85 speed, 88 Excel. He has great stats. I'm going Gasty still, man. I think I'm still going Gasty right here, man. The defense looks elite. All right, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. The best card in every position is definitely one that I love recording. And you saw the breakout promo took over. It was almost dominated the entire offense. There's a couple of them on defense as well. Let me know what you guys would change from the list. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.